Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about where I get my seeds. Uh, everybody has their different preferences that they've developed um, as they go. The more experienced you are, the more things you've tried, you know, the more you figure out where you prefer to go. I have only been buying seeds directly from seed companies for a couple years now as I've gotten into container gardening since we moved here to our town home about two and a half years, I think it'll be three years ago in November, which is wild to think about, time flies. So the first place I would encourage, especially somebody who's just getting into gardening to go for affordable seeds would be the dollar store. There is nothing wrong with going to the dollar store and uh, I'll take some pictures to show you because I have a huge table in between here. I didn't think about the logistics of this that I wouldn't be able to actually show you guys very well in the camera, the packages. Um, but dollar store has two for a dollar. This was four for a dollar for things like lettuce and carrots and zinnias and marigolds. And I mean, you cannot beat 25 cents <laughs> for a pack that has, I don't know, lettuce, anything with little seeds like lettuce. There's a ton of lettuce seeds in here. And as long as you handle them with some wisdom, they can really stretch you a long, long way. So uh, this is a Paris Island lettuce, which is an heirloom variety that's uh, sort of like a romaine. So especially in 2023, I had to think way too long about what year it was just now. Am I the only one? <laughs> Comment below if I'm not the only one. <laughs> Make me feel better. Um, but everything has just gotten so wildly expensive. To be able to get anything for 25 cents kind of gives me a little bit of a thrill. Um, another place, the next, I'm gonna go in order of uh, cost effectiveness here. Another place would be any big box stores like Walmart are going to have, you've seen these, I'm sure, Ferry Morris and Burpee. Um, I think both of these examples I have here are Ferry Morris. So, I mean, you've seen stuff like this anywhere. You probably go to get groceries even. I think I saw stands at Kroger uh, the other day. And there's nothing wrong with these seeds. They cost more than they used to, but they are still one of your cheapest options and they grow just fine usually. The only instance, I've only had one instance where I bought a pack of seeds um, and I think it was this fairy morse with the red label. It was an onion and not a single seed in the whole pack sprouted. And at first I thought it was something I screwed up because I'd never done onions before. And I asked a bunch of gardeners that had a whole lot more experience than me and I told them what I did and they said, yeah, no, you should have had at least something germinate. It shouldn't have been totally zero across the board. So that made me feel a little bit better, but also I was without onions. So it was a sad day. And that can happen. Um, anytime you have seeds that are stored improperly, I'm wondering if maybe they just got that particular shipment of seeds got really hot in the truck trailer on the way to the store, so anything could have happened. Um, but in, I've been buying seeds like this since I was in high school. I did lots and lots of plant and horticulture, independent study stuff in high school. And I have only ever had that one instance where I had such an amazing problem with germination, so they are perfectly good. Um, the next one is an actual seed company, and you can look this guy up on YouTube. He is in Michigan. His channel is called MI Gardener, and he gives, uh, he puts up videos regularly, at least a couple times a week. Um, and he keeps, he's really good at delivering information in a very concise manner and giving you good examples to look at. And uh, <clears throat> so this is what his look like. These are two varieties of watermelon I bought for this year. Moon and Stars, which is a smaller one, and Charleston Gray. So I've never grown either one of these before. Hold that thought. That was my oven preheating. I'm making dinner rolls for Easter. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I have returned. So am I Gardner? He and his wife basically started their seed company 
with very little to work with. Um, I think when they originally started, they were in a teeny tiny apartment even. You can go check out his channel and uh, find out all about that. They're pretty cool people. So now they have their own seed company. They have their own store. I believe it's in St. Clair, Michigan. His seeds, I will say they, it depends on what you're getting. Some things you don't get quite as many in the package as you might at other places but he also prices them cheaper than a lot of places. I think most of their seeds, I'll bet you at least 80% of their seeds, they're $2 a package, which for buying directly from a seed company online is a phenomenal price. Honestly, I don't mind if I get a package that has maybe seven seeds in it and I paid two dollars. It's a little less than I would like, but I also don't mind supporting him. So I, I would buy from him periodically anyway, just because I think that what they're doing and the things that they're doing for their community and all of the content that they have provided for free on YouTube, it's, it's worth investing in them and in their seed company. So if you have a couple bucks and you're looking for seeds, MI Gardener is a great place to go. Um, the next place is someone um, that I mentioned already in a couple of my videos and you've seen some of their seed packets on the screen as I was describing things, but botanical interests and I mean I'm an artist so I mean you, you look at their beautiful seed packets and I'm, I, I'm sold right there just because they're gorgeous to look at. but. They were, one of their founding principles was they wanted to give people as much information to be successful as possible. So when you look at their envelopes, they have lots and lots of information. And actually, when you open them up, you can carefully undo the seams and lay the whole packet out. And they have more information, sometimes the history of the variety, things like that on the inside of the package as well. <laughs> so there's there's no limit to the efforts that they have put in on that and I have a lot of respect for that. And the artwork is gorgeous, like I said, and the prices are very reasonable for buying online directly from a seed company. I think this is Winter Delicata Honey Boat Squash. I, uh, the price on this is $2.99. Um, cucumber lemons, lemon cucumbers. Uh, 229 for approximately one gram of seeds. It, it tells you in grams instead of approximate number of seeds how much you can expect to be in there. And giant purple zinnias were 249 for a packet of about 500 milligrams. So very reasonably priced and at least once or twice a year they have really really good sales. I mentioned this in my uh, cut and come again lettuce video but um, I probably paid $47 for $100 worth of seeds because they all were way, way on sale um, in the fall is when I did that, last fall. And you know, you can buy seeds a season or two ahead without worrying about the germination rate going down because the seeds are getting older before you're planting them. That is not a long stretch of time to worry about at all. So botanical interests, definitely one that I would recommend. The next one is a little more expensive. Um, I don't think they're outlandishly expensive or I wouldn't buy them. I am incredibly cheap compared to most people. Cheap, cheap doesn't sound good. I'm incredibly frugal, we'll put it that way. I've had people describe me that way when they loved me. <laughs> uh, Baker Creek, their website, it confused me a little bit the first time I went in because the website is rareseeds.com but Baker Creek Seed Company is the name of the place and they are based in Mansfield, Missouri. So not terribly far from where I'm at here in Tennessee. One of these days, I'm gonna take a couple hundred dollars and I'm gonna go visit because they have beautiful gardens. 
they have a restaurant where you know they grow everything they use in the restaurant and um, I plan to go visit and have a good time and buy a heck of a lot of seeds. <laughs> They have their tulip festival, I think, this week. A couple of the YouTubers that I watch regularly for garden content, um, two of them are actually there this week speaking, which someday, if anybody wants to go on a field trip with me, I think that would be a lot of fun. So anyway, here I have uh, borage, I'm sure I'm not saying that right, borage, borage, um, which is a good pest deterrent. Is what I've heard. It's it basically it sounds like it's an aphid magnet, and it can take the strain from the aphids feeding on it very well. So basically, the aphids love this over other things, and they will flock to this, stick to it like glue, and leave your other plants alone, and it will survive just fine. Um, so this is my first year growing this. I'm kind of excited to try it. I've heard it, it's edible. The flowers are used to decorate cakes and to put on salads and things like that. Supposedly they taste a little bit like cucumber. We'll find out. Um, another good thing about Baker Creek Seeds is that when you order from them, I think the first one you get at like the $10 or the nine, eight or nine dollars worth of seeds, which three packs of seeds gets you there. They send you a packet of something surprise for free. So this one, I finally got the Mizuna. A lot of people said they've gotten tons of Mizuna as their free seed, and I never got it, so now I finally get to try it. It's like a, an Asian style green. So I'm excited for that. And you know, it's, it's like a Cracker Jack prize, which is a whole lot of fun. Um, and like the more that you order, the more seed packs they throw in there. I know people who order $50, $60 worth of seeds and they get like six free seed packs or four, four, five or six free seed packs depending on how much they're spending. And so every so many dollars you spend, you're getting some added value in there. Um, and it may be things that you don't wanna eat, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not helpful. Um, you can always set it aside and use it in a seed swap for somebody who does like it and is maybe out of them but has something that you want that they can trade. So seeds are currency and don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. <laughs> this is another thing I got from them I'm really excited about. I, I looked at these on their website for over a year before I caved and I ordered some. They're called Majorette Double Champagne Hollyhocks. Aren't those beautiful? They're like a dwarf hollyhock, so I think that might mean they only get three feet tall instead of eight feet tall. We'll find out. So they are, and they have an outstanding germination rate. Um, so far what I have tried from Botanical Interests has had a great germination rate as well. Um, admittedly their germination rate is a little bit better than seeds from places like Walmart and the dollar store, but not a big enough gap that I would ever say, especially for what you're paying at those cheaper places, that it's not worth growing from them. Hey guys, uh, editing Caitlin here. I definitely went a lot longer on this than I thought I was going to. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this into two videos. I'm still figuring out the video editing shenanigans business. So I'm gonna try to put part two up here uh, at the end of the video for you to click on. Otherwise, it'll be the next video that comes up right after this one. I'm gonna upload them together rather than leave you guys hanging. So if you enjoyed part one, thanks for stopping by. Part two uh, is in the next video, and it's where I'm talking mostly about seeds that you don't have to buy. They are, I like to say, free provided to you by the universe um, in one manner or another, and there's lots of stuff to talk about there too, so, and it's probably the most accessible way to buy seeds, especially if you're on an extremely tight budget. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.